Hi there, this is Galen Martling. Today I have a winter scene that I'm going to create with dimension. I'm going to show how I'm adding dimension for this card and a way to build to build a winter scene. So I am using Unity Stamp Company stamps, dies, and stencils using the Ornamental Pines bundle that's out right now. And I'm using the dies, the stamps, and I'm not using the foils this particular on this particular card, but I'm going to use the, the dies and the stencil and the stamp. So I go ahead and stamp the trees all together, even though there are some of the trees that pop out from that stamp that are going to be cut separately. But for the sake of time, I'm just going to stamp them all with the teal all at once. And I let that ink dry for a bit while I go ahead and add the stenciling. So on a white background panel, I am going to make a separate stenciled tree scene as a background layer. I'm using Gina K Designs Glitz Glitter Gel in Turquoise, and I'm adding a spatula of some of that gel paste right over the stencil that's gonna go right onto that background card base and then the card uh, layer. Then I'm gonna use another tool to sort of make that layer of gel thinner, taking away and removing some of that excess gel and putting it right back into the bottle. And so this is going to be, it goes on wet, but it will dry probably in about 30 or 45 minutes. I just allow it to dry and set and that's what it looks like wet. It, it will sparkle a little, more, a little more when it's dry. This is my panel that I use to die cut the little trees from. And I just, uh, for the sake of time, just did all three, all four of them almost at one time. Now I'm adding a background frame panel in black. Then I add foam tape to this stenciled panel. I layer that on top of the background. And now I'm going to go ahead and place the slopes. I die cut these slopes, but you can use a paper trimmer or a scissors to do a similar look with cardstock. I have two slopes. The first one I just used flat double-sided tape. On the second one, I'm going to use foam tape and I'm going to go ahead and place uh, the included die cut words, happy holiday. Those are from dies that are included in the set and also the trees have little dies that coordinate with the stamps. I love it that Unity has dies now. And so now I'm going to go ahead and remove that uh, protective film and place that front slope in the front there popped up with foam tape so that I can tuck those trees inside to have a even more dimension and texture to this card. And so you see, it's not very hard at all. It's very simple to do. I'm going to line the trees up where I think they fit the best on the card. I'm going to have some in the foreground and some in the background. And I'm just going to fiddle with them a little bit to find out where the best placement would be that I think it would be for these trees. And so I overlap some of them and then uh, place them along the bottom part of the card near the slopes. You still see that pretty background in there, sort of a whimsical background. And, and I love that. The color is similar to the trees and the background. They sort of coordinate, which I love. And uh, the black offsets everything a little bit, I think. And so this is a simple design. And it's interesting when somebody receives the card, it, you can feel it and you can see it. It's, it's great. I love it. Thanks so much for watching. Please take a moment to subscribe to my channel, like, and share. Have a good day.